Hi, it's uh, Sam Dennis here from Copters, here to unbox the brand new Matrice 210 version 2. Uh, this is going to become one of our demo units. Um, so the Matrice 200 version 2 series has been out for about a month or so now. Uh, this is the Matrice 210, same as the old Matrice 210, it has the dual uh, front facing gimbal gear. Um, so the only real difference that you can physically see on the drone when looking at it is the uh, beacons, which you can see here on the bottom of the drone. Uh, as well. Um, obviously they're built in to give it greater visibility when, when flying at night and flying with other aircraft. Apart from that, as you can see, it looks very similar um, to the old version 1 in most ways. Uh, the other main differences that come with this are actually more software um, and sort of controller based. So what you've got is an OcuSync 2.0 transmission, which means you've got a greater transmission strength. Um, and distance of transmission as well. That transmission is also AES-256 encrypted, so you've got better data security uh, based off that system as well. So those are the main sort of hardware and firmware based issues. The other main differences you've got are that it doesn't take the TV-50 batteries, it only takes the TV-55s compared to the version one which, which did take both. And you can also mount a few extra cameras. So at the minute you can mount the Zemu's X7 along with all the other cameras that you can mount on version 1 in the past as well. You'll also see here that the controller is very similar. It's actually the Sendence S, so it is slightly upgraded from the old Sendence. But again, in most cases, it's very similar to the version 1. So most of the updates they've done to it now are really to give it more ability to fly beyond visual line of sight and to fly at night. So they're seeing that's the way the market's going and DJI want to prove that their drones can, can fill that gap. So should you upgrade is probably the main question with this. It costs mainly in the region of the version 1. There's not too many massive differences in, in terms of the cost of the accessories as well. So if you haven't got one of these and you're considering it, you may as well get the version 2. There's no reason not to. It does everything the version 1 could do. And then it's got these extra features as well. So that means you've still got the IP43 weather rating. You've still got the high wind resistance and all those benefits. So it's still much better than an Inspire or a Phantom for the more industrial applications, but it's got more benefits on top. So it's still the best in class for inspection, public safety uh, and survey. So there's no reason why you wouldn't go for one of these over the version 1, and there's no reason why, you, again, you wouldn't go for one of these over, say, Inspire or a Phantom if you fall within that more industrial or public safety category. Uh, so for more information, please email info at copters.com. We'll be happy to answer any questions you've got uh, on the drone, the accessories, how it's different to the version one, uh, and look through ways that you can fit it into your business or your business plan. Or please comment below any questions you might have, and we'll be sure to get back to you and answer those as soon as we can. Thanks.